There are many things that I enjoy about watching a weightlifting competition, like the 2013 New York City Weightlifting Championships. I appreciate the simplicity of it. One person battling against the bar. I appreciate the drama of it. Each lift is like its own battle between athlete and weight. Another opportunity for the lifter to stumble or to rise to the challenge. And of course, I enjoy the spectacle of heavy weights being lifted overhead. One of the two official weightlifting lifts, the snatch, requires the lifter to raise the barbell to an overhead locked arms position in one smooth continuous movement, and then end in a standing position. But as impressed as I may be when I simply sit back and watch these athletes at work, I sometimes find that the amount of weight on the bar becomes a little abstract to me, especially when it's announced in kilograms. All right, now we're moving up to 100 kilos. Like most Americans, I'm a bit more comfortable thinking in pounds. So I try to compare the amount being lifted to something I'm more familiar with, that I can better relate to. For example, I'm pretty familiar with what it feels like to bench press 135 pounds, or about 61 kilograms. And even though a bench press is pretty basic, 135 pounds is plenty heavy to me. So I'm always impressed by both the power and balance of weightlifters, who succeed in snatching more than that above their heads. I myself weigh about 185 pounds, or 84 kilograms, so I'm always intrigued when the lifters approach and then blow past, snatching my body weight. I understand that a weighted bar designed for this purpose is easier to lift than a human, but still, that could be me being flung overhead. But I'm not that big of a guy. At his bodybuilding peak in the 1970s, Arnold Schwarzenegger would compete at a weight of about 235 pounds, or 107 kilograms. And these guys would have no problem snatching Arnold overhead either. But back to me for a moment. This is me squatting a 135 pound barbell. Between me and the barbell, our total weight is 320 pounds, or 145 kilograms. And I'm amazed to think that, as hard a time as I have just going up and down with 135 pounds, some of these guys can snatch a weight almost equal not just to the barbell, not just to me, but to our total combined weight. And the numbers get even higher for the clean and jerk. In this lift, you're allowed to rest the weight across the clavicles before lifting it overhead, so an athlete can usually lift more in the clean and jerk than in the snatch. Here, some athletes not only could lift well in excess of the combined weight, 
of me and a 135 pound barbell. But one athlete did a clean and jerk of 186 kilograms, or over 409 pounds, only about 10 pounds short of lifting me and Arnold combined. I don't want to seem too focused simply on the numbers. But thinking about the numbers is one way that I can fully appreciate these athletes' accomplishments. Because even if the lifter fails to lift the combined weight of Arnold Schwarzenegger and a 135-pound barbell in his first attempt, I'm always excited by the possibility that, on his next attempt, he just might succeed. And that's a good lift for Javier.